forward for this next segment. <laughs> you know my history with radio. You know that I just cannot stand the radio business. I can't stand the business of radio. I wish the radio business would just burn to the freaking ground. And in fact, when the radio business does burn to the ground, I'm going to be out there doing this. Warming my hands. I'm going to be roasting marshmallows. And I don't even like marshmallows. As you know, from time to time, I browse the radio job websites. And I send off things to places that I wouldn't mind working at. So, I sent something to a place in Florida today. Well, day ago, but whatever. We heard back from them today. We'll read the ad for you. I'm not going to work there nor be hired, but <laughs> we'll read the ad for you. Headline, immediate news opening in Florida. Florida, as our good buddy Jared Bass would say, who's a board opt over there at uh, Rocking him radio. He was. He's probably not now. They probably fired him, I would assume. He's probably been sent packing. My God, if he's still in radio and I'm not, there's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> there's a problem, kids. So I sent him an email. They wanted somebody to here's the here's the uh here's the ad. We're looking for a news talk anchor to join what local newspaper readers have voted. Best morning show two years in a row. We are News Radio 92.3 FM and 1620 AM in Pensacola, Florida. An active news market with a vibrant and growing economy. Must have a passion for news, strong writing skills, and be audio savvy. Conversational delivery with the personality to interact with our morning show hosted on both News Radio and our award-winning sister station, Cat Country 98.7 FM. The independent and locally owned and managed excellent employee benefits, including 401k and health dental vision insurance plans. Our team has won seven Edward R. Murrow Awards for local news coverage, by the way. Condi Nast Magazine just named Pensacola the most beautiful place in Florida. Send audio with resume. Send audio with resume. Keep this in mind. Stay with me. Audio with resume. Audio with resume is what they say. Audio with resume. Write that down. It's going to be important later. There's going to be a quiz. So I get an I get a message. At uh, this morning, we'll say. Florida time. Let's see if I can find it here. Because it's quite hilarious, actually. Did I just delete it? Did I just flat out just get angry and delete it? I think I might have just got flat out angry with this woman and deleted it. I think I may have just done that. I think I did. <laughs> I just flat out just got angrier than and deleted it. I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I send her back. I send her the. I send her the entire package. I send her the resume, the air check. I send her everything. She writes me back with a paper resume and says, "To get the process started, you need to fill out a paper application. A paper application, mind you. 
This is 2017, where we have things called LinkedIn, where we have resumes. You clearly, in your ad, said resume. <laughs> so I sent her back a message, and I said, hey, I said, you've got everything you need on that resume. Well, yeah, but we still need you to fill out the paper application. I said, it's 2017. Why are radio stations still filling out paper resume, paper applications? And she goes, because standard business practices apply. So I wrote her back and I said, do you even have a real opening? Or is this the equal opportunity employment thing that you're trying to fill? Because whether you know it or not, radio stations are mandated by the Federal Communications Commission to advertise and facilitate each year EOE responsibility, which means that they have to advertise a certain amount of openings even though they have no plans of hiring. Such is the case with the Hitman, where the Hitman advertised all over the place that he was looking for a morning show host, morning show co-host, when he was planning on hiring Carla Ayala to begin with. <laughs> She didn't have to apply. He called her on the phone and said, I'm getting ready to hire somebody. Do you want the gig? Not that she told me that, but I could pretty much tell you that's probably what happened. So, here's what's going on. <laughs> here's what's going on. I send her back a message and I said, I'm not going to fill out the paper application. I said, you have everything. You have the resume. You have the air check. You have the cover letter. You have the references. You have everything that you would have on the paper application. And she goes, well, if you want to be hired here, you have to fill out the paper application. So you know what I did? I went and I filled it out and I put C resume on everything and sent it back to her. But before I did that, I also sent her a message that said, that's right, paper resumes. I'm sure Sean Hannity, I'm sure Sean and Rush and Beck are right now getting ready to give up their millions, move to the middle of nowhere in Florida, and are paid 20 to 30 grand a year. I'm sure they're getting ready to do that to work for a small AM. <clears throat> I just don't understand the world we live in. I just don't understand the world we live in. We're going to take a brief break. And when we come back, it is going to be top of the hour time. <laughs> <laughs> 